What do you get when you pair Alfredo sauce that is creamy and garlicky with some slurp-worthy Japanese udon noodles? Amazing is what you get. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, dude is behind the camera, and we're all about simple food, simple faith. Back in my college days, we used to eat at a restaurant called The Eatery, and they used to serve up just really, really interesting food. It was like Japanese meets Western, and I think it was even like before fusion was a word. And I remember ordering this amazing udon dish that was just essentially udon alfredo. And that's what we're gonna try to recreate today. Alfredo sauce is actually just really simple to make. There's only a few ingredients, so I'm just gonna get all of that prepped before I start cooking. And the udon is even faster. It only takes like a minute in boiling water. So let's get started. I'm gonna start by grating my Parmesan Reggiano. I have this giant chunk here that I get at Costco. And we do manage to get through it, believe it or not. We're just going to grate about half a cup. And you can use more or less depending on how much you like. And that's another th thing that's great about this recipe is that you just make it to however you like. There's no fast and hard rules. And you do want to finely grate the cheese. Like don't use the uh, large holes in a regular grater because the cheese won't melt. So you want it to be fine and fluffy like this. And don't use the stuff in the green box. If you do, you won't need as much because I believe that is just way saltier and it won't really melt very well either. But this will melt right into your sauce. Let alone the taste is nowhere near the same. True. That's probably about half a cup, maybe a little bit more, but we're just gonna stop there. Here's a little tip for you. Did you know that you can regrow green onions? So I cut them around like this, a couple inches from the bottom, and then they just grow right back, even in water. I tried planting them in the summer and it essentially does the same exact thing. So if you want them handy, you could just put them in a vase of water and you can clip them as you need them. So I'm just using a little bit of green onions for garnish. So I'm just gonna cut a couple of these and then they'll continue to grow right back. That's it, ta-da. I'm just using a very small pot today because I am making not that much actually. So let's just get this going first. And I just want this on low. So I melt my butter. Oh, two tablespoons of butter. I hope you guys are enjoying these East meets West fusion type of recipes. It's really making me be more creative with what I have at home and I hope that you guys are enjoying them as well. So I'm melting the butter on low heat because one, I don't want the butter to burn and I also don't want the garlic to burn. So once this is completely melted, and I am using a silicone spatula. This is not a rubber spatula. So please don't cook with rubber spatulas. They will melt. So one clove of garlic, I'm gonna use my press and we're gonna let this cook for about two minutes. Just really get that garlic flavor into the butter. You don't want your garlic to burn, so make sure you keep that temperature low. You don't want your garlic to start browning because it's very quick from browning to burning. Okay, and I have half a cup of heavy cream or whipping cream. Just gonna stir that in. Might need to bump it up, bump the heat up a little bit. Just bring it to a simmer. And kind of stir occasionally, just so that we can try to get this butter incorporated into the whipping cream. So I'm turning this down a little bit because I don't want it to simmer too much. But we're gonna let this simmer for two minutes. In the meantime, you can get your udon noodles cooked. Now these are frozen and they come usually in a package of five and it's one serving per person. And it only takes a whole minute in boiling water from frozen. So you just want to get that ready at the same time as your sauce. Okay, we're gonna add the Parmesan cheese now.
and stir that in until it's all melted. And that's it, that's your sauce. And you can turn that. Once the cheese is melted, you can turn it, turn the heat off. It's not a particularly thick sauce, but it is thickened more than earlier. Okay, I'm also gonna add just a pinch of salt. And that is it for the sauce. And my noodles are ready. I only have one serving of noodles in here. And this is what the udon noodles look like. You can buy it frozen, like I showed you, or you can also buy them dried and they will just take a lot longer to cook. So the amount of sauce here is good for four serving of noodles, but if you want it more saucy, you can always double the recipe for the Alfredo sauce. But I'm just gonna use about a quarter of this sauce for this one serving. So I don't want it swimming in sauce, I just want it to be coated. Okay, and then I'm just gonna plate it To make it look a little bit prettier, we are using some furikake, which is like a um, seaweed and sesame seeds and some spices in there. And I also have some, um, I think they're capelin roe, which is called masago. You can also find tobiko in Japanese stores. And they're essentially just like caviar, but less expensive. Mm. And a little bit of green onions. Are you all ready for? Yep. The taste. This may look simple, guys, but Again, smell the vision. When is that gonna come online? It needs to come online stat. This is, whew, smells good. It looks fantastic, but it's all in the simplicity. And what's surprising is the flavors when you put it in your mouth. So, yeah. The springiness of the udon and enveloped in that mm, fantastic sauce hits a flavor from the furikake and the fish roll. I mean, it's really simple. So good. I, this would be pretty filling. It doesn't look like much, but when you get it all in your belly, it's like, it's pretty satisfying. Girl, you've been knocking it out of the park with these cultural mashups. Hope you do more because I benefit. <laughs> Thank you. The goal with the channel is always to provide a simple and flavorful meal for your family. This dish can be paired with teriyaki chicken or even a steak. It's a wonderful side to have. And even if you don't have the furikake or the tobiko or the, the fish roe, you can still make it and it's still delicious as is with just the Alfredo sauce. For more recipes just like this, check it out and I will see you over there.